Frequently Asked Questions I've heard that it's qi that heals the body and that it travels through channels and meridians to do it. Is that right? Qi is the word the Chinese use to describe the actions of the mechanisms of the body depending on where in the body they come from. Channels and meridians are like a road map of the body that show us connections and relationships with other areas of the body. Get your acupuncturist to show you this chart. It's quite amazing. So can acupuncture get my body to heal the problem in one go? Sometimes, yes. However, typically follow-ups are necessary. Why? Well, it depends on how long you've had the injury. Remember, your body's top priority is the maintenance schedule, not to keep up with your accidents. It also has to do with how much you may aggravate your injury in your daily life and how much other work your healing mechanisms are doing elsewhere. What happens after my treatment? After your acupuncture treatment, it may be a few hours, a few days, or longer when your midbrain says, Hey, what's going on here? We've been at this before, and they keep on hurting it. Troops, get back to your normal duties, but some of you stay here and try to get the job finished this time, please. Your injury has just been downregulated once again. This is normal, and some pain may return. So we do another treatment. We override the maintenance schedule once again, put the troops on alert, and get them fixing the area as the top priority. Most likely after a few treatments, when there has been enough top priority healing done to fix the issue, your problem should go away. Please, try not to aggravate your injury while your troops are hard at work. Remember, every time you feel another pain from your injury, you've likely hurt it again, and that damage has to be healed once more. So why do we need needles to go in places nowhere near where I have hurt myself? Ask your acupuncturist to show you a map of the acupuncture channels and points. And then, imagine the muscles, nerves, tendons, and bones associated along those areas. These pathways allow us to treat areas of the body that may seem completely unrelated to you, but are of utmost importance to us. It's like a secret blueprint of your body. It allows us to know where to put the needles and to send the healing mechanisms to the right place. Are the needles going to hurt? Simply, yes, a bit, but nothing like you are imagining right now, and certainly nothing like you get at a doctor's or dentist's. In reality, if you don't feel anything after the needles go in, it's likely not much healing is going to happen. Remember, we are trying to wake up your midbrain to spur it into action, not send it an email for brunch sometime next week. Some places in the body are more sensitive than others. Some places barely sensitive at all. The most important thing to know is that the pain upon inserting the needle usually passes within a few seconds. And once the acupuncture point is activated, you may feel a dull, grabby electrical sensation in the area, or tingles running in different parts of the body. But don't worry, this is totally normal. And within a few minutes of the last needle being put in, most people feel a great sense of calm and relaxation, and the stress of having needles put in you just washes away. Your endorphins have kicked in, and you are in your happy place. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Remember, if you are nervous or scared of needles, let your practitioner know, and they can alter the treatment to best suit your needs. Are there any side effects of acupuncture? Most people will feel quite relaxed at the end of their treatment, and typically the greatest side effect of acupuncture is that you feel better. Occasionally, there may be some bruising. There may be a residual dull pain in the area where the needle was. If this is the case, give the area a rub with your hand, and it should go away soon. If you are feeling concerned about sensations after your treatment, please contact your practitioner as soon as possible and let them know. They can provide advice on what best to do. Mostly, acupuncture is low risk with minimal side effects and has a great potential to make you feel better. We know that the full scope of acupuncture cannot be covered in these few minutes, so please excuse us for any unanswered questions. The best thing to do is let your practitioner know of your needs, and they will do what they can to explain and get the best result for you. So now you've been informed of how it works and what to expect. Relax, don't worry, and remember, we're just helping you to heal yourself.